I think the statement is crystal clear. It uh, mentions two different actions. Uh, it speaks, first of all, of the outcome of the investigation that has been announced by the UN and the actions it will take. And UNRWA is an agency of uh, the UN, as its uh, name itself specifies. So on the one hand, you have got the investigation, which is carried out uh, by the UN, and the Commission says that it will review the matter in light of the outcome of this investigation. Right? We have not said that um, we uh, are asking for anything else. We are referring specifically to this investigation to be led by the UN, on the allegations made uh, related to uh, the involvement of UNRWA staff in the 7 of October attacks. That's the first leg. There is a second leg. And this leg, the second leg concerns an audit of the agency. Now, when the Commission works with an agency as intensively as it does with UNRWA, it is absolutely standard procedure that we have lots of different control mechanisms in place, and of course, uh, we can at any point, and these circumstances certainly warranted, request an audit. And this is a different audit to the investigation launched on the actual allegations. This is broader, uh, and it, uh, it concerns uh, what we call the pillar assessment, which is the sort of um, understanding under which we work with, um, with UNRWA, and in particular, how UNRWA controls its activities and um, uh, in order to ensure that uh, its staff are not involved in terrorist uh, activities. So one is on the investigation that has been called by the UN or confirmed by the UN on the allegations themselves, and the other is more systemic. I hope this <laughs> clarifies your question.